Good morning, everyone. Great to be here today with all of you. Uh, very excited to be here with uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister, Christia, to uh, talk about something we're doing on affordability. Uh, Giancarlo, thank you so much for welcoming us here uh, to Vince's. As a strong independent grocer, uh, you've had a real impact on people's lives. You've also seen uh, over the past years the challenges folks have faced, and uh, we're glad to make a big announcement today. Uh, Tony, Francesco, uh, it's great to be back in the region. Great to be uh, here with all of you to talk about how we're going to make life more affordable for so many people. L'annonce qu'on fait aujourd'hui va faire uh, beaucoup, beaucoup d'heureux. La trajectoire de notre économie est dans la bonne direction. On est en train de voir l'inflation diminuer. On est en train de voir uh, les taux d'intérêt diminuer. On a une bonne croissance économique prévue pour 2025. Uh, on est en train uh, de voir l'économie reprendre, mais en même temps, Les gens ont besoin d'aide. C'est pour ça qu'on est allé de l'avant avec plusieurs mesures qui sont, enlevées de la pression, sont en train d'enlever de la pression sur euh, leur, euh, leur compte de banque, que ce soit les soins dentaires qui aident euh, les aînés et d'autres, que ce soit euh, des places en garderie à 10 dollars par jour à travers le pays qui enlève des milliers de dollars de pression euh, sur les familles, que ce soit euh, le programme euh, de, 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 de nourriture dans les écoles euh, qui va enlever de la pression euh, pour les parents, que ce soit euh, d'autres initiatives comme l'insuline ou euh, les contraceptions sur ordonnance gratuite. On est en train de faire beaucoup de choses pour enlever de la pression pour les familles, mais on sait qu'on peut en faire encore plus. The programs that we're delivering, whether it's dental care, whether it's uh, uh, pharma care with uh, free insulin or free uh, prescription contraceptives, whether it's more spaces and $10 a day child care uh, that is saving families thousands of dollars, whether it's dental care that's taken huge pressures off of primarily seniors' budgets, uh, but also others, these are things that are making a difference. Uh, but at the same time, Canadians are still struggling to get by. These, pressure, these uh, elements have taken off pressures, but there is more to do. As the holidays approach, families, especially parents, are particularly worried. Canadians have been through a lot. They work hard. We see that. We've been able to uh, get through the past couple of years. Everyone had to tighten their belts a little bit. And now we're going to be able to give a tax break for all Canadians. For two months, starting December 14th, we're going to remove the GST, HST from groceries, 100% of groceries, all groceries. We're going to remove the GST from restaurant meals, takeouts, fast food. Removing the GST from beer and wine. Removing the GST for essentials like kids' clothing, footwear, diapers, and toys, all tax-free, removing the GST and HST. For two months, Canadians are going to get a real break on everything they do. We also know that there's more we need to do, particularly for working Canadians. So if you worked in 2023 and earned up to $150,000 we're going to be sending you a check for $250 in just a few months. Our government can't set prices at checkout, but we can put more money in people's pockets. The working Canadian's rebate of $250, which will be uh, sent to people in April, is going to give people that relief they need. And the tax break uh, over the next two months is going to help on the costs of everything as we approach the holidays, as we get into the new year. These are things that recognize that people are squeezed and we're there to help. Money that will help people buy the things they need and save up for the things they want. And the final comment is that I really hope that all parties in the House get behind this so we can pass this quickly so that Canadians can get this relief as soon as December 14th. 